Abelar Abunar is a single malt scotch distilled in the Speyside region of Scotland, nestled comfortably in the northeastern shores of the country. Abelar was founded in 1879 by James Fleming. The name pays homage to the town where the distillery is located. After James passed away, Abelar was purchased by Pernod Ricard in 1974. This 10 to 15 year old single malt scotch is bottled at cask strength after being rested in Oloroso sherry barrels. Tasting notes provided by Abelard Distillery include a spiced orange praline aroma with deep, rich notes of Oloroso sherry. The palate reveals black cherries, oranges, and a bittersweet, dark chocolate with a full, creamy mouthfeel. Let's give it a try. Beautiful. Kind of this burnish gold, kind of auburn hue. Looks like a birthstone. Um, really pretty color. What's great is this is so reflective of what is actually going on in the cask, right? There's no dilution, there's no chill filtration. This is rugged, intense scotch. Um, so this is the real deal. This is not a beginner scotch by a long shot. Um, but yeah, let's give this bad boy a try. Oh gosh. Immediately, big, 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 dark cherries covered in chocolate. Um, maybe chocolate covered oranges also, but the cherry and the chocolate are just jumping out of the glass right now. Oh, very rich, very big nose. This is 59.9% alcohol, so. Getting leather, earth, um, almost like ground cacao, not chocolate. So this is more of like a, a bitter, bittersweet, earthy, kind of like dirty chocolate. You get less of the fruit on the palate, a lot more on the nose. On the palate, it is so intense, it just bulldozes you just runs you over with how big and powerful the spirit is. The nose and the palate, man, uh, they're different. The, there's some serious layers here. Man. It's surprisingly gentle, despite how massive it is. Think of like a really graceful giant. Because uh, it's huge. This is very big in a number of ways. But on the palate, it kind of gently lays you down into that 60% alcohol. For the average ethanol consumer, I would definitely recommend drinking this with either a large cube of ice or a small amount of water. If, on the other hand, you are a zealous consumer like myself, drinking it neat in one of the Rastel Tetku glasses is an experience. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Please click the link. And there's something there. Thank you and good night.